Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I just thought that I'll quickly come live to uh, I mean, clarify some myths about noisy. Uh, in fact, yesterday I attended one of the uh, live sessions on noisy and the kind of questions that came up on that session makes me believe uh, that people have really misunderstood what noisy is. So I thought I will try and clarify a bit uh, because, uh, uh, you know, most of the people seem to compare noisy with the video uh, conferencing tool. It is definitely not uh, because the noisy video tool is not uh, built grounds up by noisy team. It is Jitsi. It's a, just a, uh, I mean, they've just given a wrapper of, around the Jitsi. Uh, so if you are buying it for the video tool, then you will be extremely disappointed. But what noisy is, is much beyond uh, the video tool. So, you know, I've been using it. I thought that I will, I will just uh, show it to you people as to why I believe noisy is a great software. So let me quickly show you. I, I, I mean, I bought one code and with one code you get, uh, you know, uh, you, 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 you get, one company uh, with unlimited users and unlimited file share. And, uh, you know, if you've been using free Slack, there is a limit of 5 GB. And uh, once you exhaust that 5 GB, the old messages, everything will get automatically deleted. So you don't even have control over it. Uh, so it was very easy for me to, you know, move to uh, noisy from Slack uh, because I can collaborate with my entire team and uh, it gives me unlimited users and uh, you know unlimited team members and unlimited guests as well so i mean i i only want to talk about three three uh, major issues or three major misunderstandings or features that noisy has got one as i told definitely told you please this meeting uh, is takes you to another link called meet.noisy.com which is not part of the core application. You know, it is outside of, uh, you know, outside of noisy. And even if you do not buy an account, you will still be able to use that particular, uh, you know, uh, use that particular uh, tool. You don't really have to have an account. It's completely free. And again, as I told you, it is just Jitsi. You know, it, I mean, it's not, they have not built anything from ground up. But within this screen is what is interesting one as i told you you got unlimited users and i could see that that you know unlimited users you can add as many people as you want and unlimited file store and the second confusion that everybody has got is recording is not working and streaming is not working yes recording and streaming will not work in meet.noisy.com because that is not part of your product once again i repeat meet.noisy.com Recording will not work because it's a free product, but recording will work from within your organization. Imagine that, um, okay, you know, the way that you need to start your video in, in noisy is either there is a one-to-one -one, one -one message or a channel. So if you go to a channel, you will be able to invite all the people who are part of the channel and you don't have to do any invite. You just click on, for example, Assuming that, you know, I uh, I want to start a meeting with uh, one of the person, let's say, you know, Bala Murugan. Okay, all that I need to do is just go click on the video call here and a notification would automatically go, uh, you know, go, go, no notification would automatically go to, uh, go to that recipient and he or she will be able to join. And uh, whoever joins first, becomes okay i mean i think that screen is not shared let me show you okay so i mean fail to access camera because uh, okay, how do i share this hey pala yeah just hold on no no you are on live just, just a minute you know just just a minute okay i do not know okay let me add one more screen.
So I'm sharing the entire screen. Okay, now I just initiated that meeting with just by clicking the video call and uh, I have my colleague who's joined. I did not send any notification. Okay, one minute. Let me do that again. Bal, I'll, I'll invite you again, okay? Okay, so what I did is I just went to this person and I clicked on the video call and automatically a notification will go to that person. You know, I don't have to really send a, send a notification or anything like that. It's a one-to-one -one call. Uh, and uh, then the meeting will get initiated. Okay, so now, um, okay, bear with me. Okay, I'm already using the camera. That's why it's not using my camera. And you can see that, you know, my colleague has already got uh, the request and he is already on the call okay now uh because bala can you just uh, quit the call yeah so he just joined the call now you can see that okay these once you have initiated the meeting from within noisy you get all the options for recording you know and so you can you get all the options for recording and then you have all the moderator rights as well and then you can also stream it live because stream it live and right now the streaming is only for only to youtube i mean you can't stream it to anything else so now i've, I've rec initiated recording let me leave this meeting and come back to the noisy screen you will see that the recording will be available in this channel Okay, once it is processed, the file will automatically come to this channel. File will automatically come to this channel. Okay, let me let me show you something else because it's getting processed. So automatically. You can see that yesterday I had a meeting and the recording is here. So the recording will automatically come here. And uh, you can also see that in the files. Okay, let me go to that person with whom I had the meeting, and you could see this is the recording, which can be downloaded. You can do everything. So this is how you need to make recording work. And here it is just one-on-one -on -one call. But if you go to a channel and start, uh, you know, start the. Okay, this is the meeting that we had some time back, and you could see that the recording has come here. You can download, you can play, you can do whatever you want. And it resides in the one-on-one -on -one channel between me and my colleague. That is one thing that, you know, that people have really been misunderstanding. Please do not, you know, if you go to this meeting, it is a third, it is a link which is not inside of the application, but use the video call button here. You'll be able to do everything. You can connect your calendar. At this moment, you can only collect, connect, one calendar or probably two calendars if you have a google calendar or a microsoft calendar which can be shared with your team or people can book meetings so on and so forth and uh, the, the the other thing is okay very interesting thing is the teams there are two types of teams one is the member the other one is a guest okay the, and both are unlimited so members are one who have got who can see all the open channels you know probably are your employees, you know, they can have one-to-one -one conversation, so on and so forth. Imagine that you wanted to add a customer to it. For example, I wanted to I create a channel where I will do, uh, I mean, I want to have project coordination with my customer, then you have to use guest. Guest will have access to only one channel at any point of time. For example, you should choose which channel you want to, uh, you want them to have. They, can, they will not be able to do one-on-one -on -one with you. They will have access only to one channel. So this works very well for me because whenever somebody have a customer with whom I want to interact interact with, uh, you know, on a particular channel, I can just invite them as member. And this is also unlimited. You know, this is this is phenomenal. And you can add as many companies as you want. But for every company, you need to have one license. Uh, you know that is mandatory and uh, you can be part of many cup for example i can be uh, the administrator of my uh, noisy group and i can be a guest in another group or i can be a member in another group as well so so that's a that's a kind of uh, 
you know flexibility that noisy gives so as i told you it's use it as a collaboration tool you can have one to one chats you know you can have group chats uh, everything so you can have group chats you can share files uh, you know you can set up meetings you can even create tasks for example imagine that you know i want to set up a task for ranjit you can go to task manager and then you can set up a task saying that send it does report to rakhya do not forget to include do not forget to include uh, i the chat holiday notification And then you can set the date as well saying okay it has to be set a i mean date so i want this to be done by uh, da, 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 say 1942 742 my time and then assign this to be okay if there are more more people then because i'm creating an on ranjit's one on one i don't have to use his name Create task. So, so it will create task. The noisy bot will go and inform Ranjit saying that you know Venki has created a task. So, so you go to your task bar, you will see all the tasks that are I mean that you have created and the task that has been assigned to you as well. If somebody has assigned you assigned a task to you, all those will be there and you can track it for opening and closure. So once again, use noisy. If you are looking at noisy as a video conferencing tool, you will be grossly disappointed. But if you are going to use it, use it as a collaboration tool. Uh, it's an it's an amazing tool. Believe me, for forty nine dollars, uh, you know you will not regret buying it. You know, uh, so that's what I wanted to share because there's been a lot of confusion going on. Noisy is not a video conferencing tool. It's a collaboration tool. You can probably you can relate it to something like Slack. Uh, second thing is meet.ic.com is a free add-on. And uh, any, even if you do not have an IC account, you can go and use it. But whatever meetings that you're initiating within that IC app, you will be able to record, you will be able to do streaming, so on and so forth. You can store a lot of files, unlimited files, but don't use it as a you know something like a peak load or something like that. whatever is part of the conversation it's very easy uh, having said that a lot of pages are still in spanish uh, there are no tags to search files etc which has already been requested uh, requested to and uh, uh, the noisy bot uh, you know we, i mean uh, just like how we do in slack i mean i've not seen an option where i can still program it uh, but otherwise, for basic communication, etc., is really, really good. Particularly in terms of inviting your guests, having your employees, on and so forth. So I thought I'll clarify this with uh, with a group here. And uh, thank you so much uh, for watching me live.